Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 4 has already been leaked early with the Battle Pass, cosmetics, skins, the overall theme, and an awesome trailer we're going to be watching and reacting to later in the video. One of the first pieces of information that data miners have recently found here in the Fortnite files pertains to a very lovable character returning back into the game in Season 4, and that is the return of Klombos. Hypex tweeted out over on Twitter in this last update saying, Epic are working on making Klombos killable. As of now, they're working on making them drop a special version of meat and up to 15 different types of loot, including ammo, mats, consumables, and maybe weapons. That's why they added the NPC meat item yesterday in the recent update. Now this is very exciting news for all of you Clombo lovers out there because if there was no chance of Clombos returning into the game at a later date, why would Epic and Fortnite still be updating and working on Clombos, changing it to where they could be killable, dropping different types of loot, if they were never going to make their way back into the game? They would have done this back in Season 2 whenever Clombos were actively in the game. So that is very exciting. We're going to have Clombos back and there will actually be a way to kill them and take them out for all of you cruel humans out there that do want to hurt the Clombos. And another big piece of information pertaining to the overall theme of Chapter 3 Season 4 has recently just come out to the community's attention as well. And it's actually based off of an interview and other information that we've literally had available to us here in Fortnite over the last year. As you guys know, every single chapter, a lot of the seasons that line up for each chapter seem to be somewhat connected. So for Chapter 1 Season 5, it was very similar to Chapter 2 Season 5 and I'm assuming that chapter 3 season 5 will also be linked to those previous seasons and have something in common with the storyline that produces more information for the overall story and lore of Fortnite. And if you guys remember and were playing back in chapter 2 season 4, that was actually the Marvel collab and season of chapter 2. I'm pretty sure it's safe to say that a lot of people really, really enjoyed that season. I thought it was one of the best seasons we had in literally all of Chapter 2. So the fact that next update for us is going to be the Chapter 3 Season 4 update, there was already early speculation that Chapter 3 Season 4 could be themed around Marvel. And in an interview that Donald Muster did, who if you guys didn't know is the creative director and basically the mastermind behind the entire Fortnite universe, he actually did an interview back during the Galactus Live event in Chapter 2 Season 4 where he gave us a lot of lot of where he gave us a lot of information about possibly having Marvel return in this chapter. So I'm gonna let that play out for you guys just so you guys can hear exactly what Donald had to say. The reason why we called even this season Nexus War is this is just the start. This is the start of lots of stuff we have planned for many years in this Marvel integration. Like this is not, this is not the end, this is the beginning. Even now we're plotting out kind of what are some of the big cool things that we're doing even in the next year and the year after that. And um, so that's really it is I have so many favorite characters that's gonna sure. take years to get them all in, in into this world. MODOK is amazing. And so it's really just thinking like, again, it has to all be in an authentic way. So it's like, if MODOK learned that there was a slice of reality where Fortnite exists and, and you don't have enough context yet and the players don't have enough context yet of what's actually going on in, in the world of Fortnite. But I think MODOK would be very interested in what's going on there and, and then maybe there's a way he plays into that. And there you had it. He made it very, very clear that this was literally just the beginning of this Fortnite Times Marvel collaboration. He said that they had plans and things that they were working on literally for years to come. And here we are. Two years later, after Chapter 2 Season 4 had officially come out into Fortnite Battle Royale, we are literally just over a month away from the release of Chapter 3 Season 4 with early leaks and information with potential that Season 4 of Chapter 3 could actually be completely themed around Marvel again and introduce a bunch of brand new Marvel characters and have a new Marvel protagonist added to the game, similar to what they did in Chapter 2 with Galactus and that entire live event, which, like I said, a lot of people can agree that was one of the better seasons they did in all of Chapter 2, and that was an amazing amazing live event it was actually the first event where we were able to interact and actually drive the vehicles in it as well and i probably should have mentioned this earlier in the video but for those of you guys that are curious on when chapter 3 season 4 is actually going to be released i know it is a bit early talking about leaks 
But considering this is such a big breakthrough in information for what this season can hold, I definitely wanted to share it with you guys. But it says the Fortnite Season 4 release date hasn't officially been confirmed, but according to the Chapter 3 Season 3 Battle Pass, as seen on the Epic Games website and in-game message on Battle Pass screen, we can determine the current Season 3 Battle Pass will end on September 17th, which means Season 4 start date will most likely be around Sunday, September 18th, following the usual downtime for the transition, but it will be a while before we received the official confirmation and honestly this makes sense september 18th is a perfect release date for this brand new season as it falls on a sunday typically fortnite does these big updates middle of the week but in pure but in the last few seasons it seems that they have shifted when they drop new seasons to the weekend just so more people can be at home and enjoy the brand new update now where it gets very interesting and where it actually seems almost as if it's not just a coincidence anymore is the brand new fortnite times marvel comics that have been released over these last few months you guys did not know fortnite is doing another collab with marvel where they're releasing a brand new series of comics there's actually going to be five different issues with five different storylines and the first one actually came out on june 8th the second one dropped on july 13th and then from there about every few weeks we are going to be getting the third fourth and fifth issue that gives us exclusive marvel based rewards for everyone that does go out and actually buy these comics now like i said i don't think this is a coincidence because if you guys look at this graph that shows the release dates and all the different items and exclusive things you're able to earn the fifth and final version of this new comic series is coming out on september 28th which is only 10 days after the chapter 3 season 4 season is supposed to be launched and the big update will be revealed and the reward that you're going to be getting for this is the loading screen based on Fortnite times Marvel Zero War. So maybe the whole reason Fortnite and Marvel released these comics when they did and it's called Zero War is because this is going to be Chapter 3's version and extension of what we saw back in Chapter 2 Season 4 which was known as Nexus War. Maybe every single chapter on Season 4 is going to be dedicated to a new Marvel collaboration and there's going to be a new themed war that we partake in so we have nexus war in chapter two we have potentially a zero war coming in at chapter three and then maybe in another few years whenever we are back <laughs> Whenever we do get to Chapter 4 Season 4, there could be another one as well. This could be something that Fortnite and Marvel, just like Donald said in that interview, had planned out for a very long time. And I think this is super, super exciting. And like I said, I don't think it's a coincidence. I think all of this Marvel stuff lining up in almost the exact date of a brand new season release was definitely done on purpose by Epic and Marvel to build it up and hype everyone up. And now that we have all the early information and talk about what the theme and overall additions to Season 4 could be, we're going to end this video off by watching and reacting to a concept trailer that someone made over on YouTube that kind of has like their own concept for what Season 4 could be if it doesn't take the Marvel route. And as you guys can see, it is known as the Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 4 Dark Crisis, where he basically just gives a bunch of different ideas that could be in season four and i thought it was really well put together so i wanted to react and watch it with you guys here in this video so that being said let's just go ahead and give this a watch we have the dark crisis which is cool you guys can see that fitzy leaks over on twitter actually made a map concept where the entire top right of the map literally is its own biome similar to what we had added in season three with like the bloom and the trees and stuff like that so we have some new pois you guys could see we have log jam lagoon dark bloom and uh the entire right side of the map like i said is like this dark kind of dead red where uh the daily bugle is actually a volcano which i think this map looks really good man it actually looks re very realistic so i'm excited to see what the map changes could potentially be depending on the theme of the season as well but uh yeah man i think this is a really really cool map and idea and of course we have the zero point located over in the middle of the map still and then for the storyline he says when bloom watcher collided the realities and gathered their energy she reached her final form we have some brand new weapons the new scope they are pump ghost guns flamethrower and um, there's just so many ideas and cool things that this guy has. You guys can even see here we have some weapons from Save the World. Some new mythic abilities that could be coming out as well. And uh, overall, I think some of these is cool. We actually have a scar with a scope on it, which could be an interesting feature. We have new mobilities, the upside down rift, the jump boosters, and the double grapple gun. And then this is something cool too. I know that there was supposed to be a big Stranger Things collab. So we have Vecna from the brand new Stranger Things season that could potentially coming as a boss and kind of tying with like the dark upside down evil thing that the uh, 
the Storm Collider could bring into the island. And then of course we have some new weapons and changes as well, and new mythics, the Bloom Blade and Vecna's Claw, which actually looks really cool. And then, of course, this is just his idea for the overall loot pool. You guys can see all the different versions of mobility, weapons, utilities, heals, everything of that sort. And, uh, I mean, I think this looks pretty good, man. Obviously, this is just a concept, but I really like the idea of the dark bloom. Kind of how we have just the regular bloom on the island right now. So yeah, pretty solid, man. Pretty solid. All of this was made by Fitzy Leaks. Definitely go check him out on Twitter. I'll link it down in the description. Big shout out to him. This was an awesome, awesome trailer. But with that being said, that is all I got for you guys in today's video. If you have any ideas or anything on what you think could be coming with Chapter 4, with Chapter 3 Season 4, definitely let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to hear and see your guys' feedback. But drop a like on the video, subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy, my friends.